growing up gay was was tough. Um, I, you know, grew up in Singapore, um, which many years ago was still very, very conservative. It's still pretty conservative now, but it was a lot worse. Yeah, I'm from a suburban town in upstate New York. Um, it's very conservative, more cows than people probably. Yeah, I grew up in a Caribbean family. We're from Trinidad and the idea of being gay is just not something that's normal. I do remember sort of feeling this overarching sense of guilt um, that I wouldn't necessarily please my parents or please my family because I wouldn't get married or have a family. High school and college, I tried to man up a little bit and you know join soccer team, you know, any anything that you know more manly so that I can hide my being gay. For me, um, being Latino and growing up um, in a Latino family, um, there was a lot of you know internalized um, machismo and, and things that I wanted to hide from my family because I was afraid that I was going to be rejected. It was a little difficult. I grew up in a pretty Christian household and no one really knew that I was gay or including me some days. <laughs> I grew up in a very Catholic family, um, 16 years of Catholic school. So it was very difficult to be told basically on a daily basis that the feelings that I had or the attractions that I had were wrong. As a kid I felt not loved, even though I got so much love at home from my parents, but I didn't have the love for my peers. And I'm thinking these people are preaching, you know, just not, not hate, but just ignorance about who I am inside. And I just, you know, can't scream or tell anyone, you know, what I'm feeling or what I'm thinking every day. And so I would do things that were, you know, self-destructive. I would, um, I'd shave my head or, you know, diet crazy colors. I was you know, very hesitant to initially interview at Wall Street firms because I didn't want to go back to that place of feeling guilty about who I was and having to be in the closet in the workplace. Once I had kind of decided that this was how I was going to live the rest of my life, um, that's when I, I started to feel a little bit more lonely and um, it just actually got ended up getting worse when I went to junior high school and when I, when I went to high school and I ended up going into really bad depression in high school. I attempted to to commit suicide um, because I didn't feel that I had a, a, a venue out to tell my mother or tell anyone what was happening. It's, it's tumultuous, but every time you tell someone else, it gets much easier, I found. For me, it wasn't really a question of would I be accepted, it was more an acceptance of myself. When I came out to my mom, it was great. She just said, let's go buy shoes. Um, when I came out to my dad, he took it pretty hard and, and said some things that were hurtful, but um, today we're, we're back to where we used to be and he's totally accepting and totally great. If you're true to yourself and you're not hiding, um, it's a much better experience. People get older, people get smarter, and all the people that you know, are, made my life terrible when I was younger. Um, at that time, they seemed powerful and they seemed maybe even cool. Um, that changed very, very quickly. Um, as you get older and as people get smarter, you begin to see that there's nothing cool about being ignorant. There's nothing cool about being a bully. Um, and in fact, you know, when everyone kind of realizes that, then the joke's on them. I kind of leverage my my intelligence in, in, in that sense that, okay, I know I, I'm good at math, I'm good at this, so I tried to use that. Two weeks ago, I went to my friend Donald and Dennis's wedding, um, and I think that was eye-opening for me. It was the most beautiful wedding I've ever been to. It was on the beach, and they were so happy. They've been together for over 20 years, and seeing that just made me realize that we're not that different. We just have different stories. I feel so much more confident in who I am. I have a successful career. I graduated college. I have my partner for 10 years now. Uh, we have our own uh, place. And I think it's truly inspirational to know that it's possible to be gay and open and have a family and really put that on display for the whole world to see. Having gone through it, um, you know, you do realize that you don't think at that point that things are going to get any better, but eventually they, they do. You're put here for a purpose, and if you choose to take that away 
the world is, has lost something that's very, very vital, something very important. Well, if you commit suicide and you're successful, you're gone. You left your family, you left your friends, you compromised everything you believed in yourself, and you committed the ultimate sacrifice, and that was your life. I never thought I'd live past 17, and you can do it. You really can. You can get past whatever this is. You are stronger than anyone ever imagined you are. You are stronger than you imagine you are, and you can totally get through this. There are people and resources that are here that are waiting for you to find them. High school is not life. Life is not high school. Um, the world turns and does nothing but turn, and sometimes it just turns the wrong way. But if you just hold on tight, it's going to get better. Time heals these wounds, and it will get better. So believe in yourself and fight for yourself and stand up for yourself. It doesn't really matter if other people accept you or don't. That's their, most of the time, that's their loss. So be who you are, be happy with who you are, and tell with what other people think about you. The world is changing. It's already changed a lot in the past five, 10 years, past five years especially. Being gay is not about being different or being um, subpar in any way. In some ways it makes you almost extraordinary because you're not like just the average person walking down the street. You bring to the table just a vast experience having dealt with kind of these more difficult conversations and difficult experiences in your life and being able to bring that to every situation kind of makes you extraordinary. Hi, I'm Michelle Gadsden Williams, Global Head of Diversity and Inclusion at Credit Suisse. And on behalf of the firm, I'd like to thank every single individual who shared their courageous stories and insights for this video. At Credit Suisse, our ambition is to become the world's most admired bank, and diversity and inclusion will certainly play a key role in us achieving that goal. Our ambition is to recruit, develop, and retain diverse talent. This is one of the many reasons why diversity is such a critical business imperative for Credit Suisse. I am glad that you've had an opportunity to hear some of the personalized stories from our employees, and I hope that this provides you with some reassurance that it truly does get better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It totally gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Trust me, it gets so much better. It gets better.